Our church is open seven days a week. And one of our major programs is this community feast celebration. And the community feast is one of our major programs. And what we want to do is encourage more people to understand it and get involved and volunteer. The three-day program continues on a Sunday with a presentation um, during the Sunday service at 11 a.m. from John Auer, Reverend John Auer, who was the founder of Community Feast in 1984. He'll be speaking uh, his reflections on why we started it, why this is part of our mission. He's flown back to Chicago to be especially part of this, and we're delighted. And then finally, we're having a Community Feast celebration finale fundraiser on Monday, October 12th at 7 o'clock at the Uncommon Ground Restaurant. Um, the Uncommon Ground has become a gold sponsor of this event, making a major contribution to help support it. We're super delighted. If anybody's been, ever been on Common Ground at 1401 West Devon, it's tremendous. The event takes place Monday, October 12th from 7 to 10 at Uncommon Ground at 1401 West Devon. And you can get tickets and find out more about all of this at our church website, which is ucrogerspark.org. Jeez, Michael. You just did the whole thing <laughs> in one swell foop. That was great. All right, so you take part in this. You've been part of this church, this congregation for a long, long time. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, and when I first joined United Church Rose Park, volunteering and taking my family and my kids to help cook the meal at the Community Feast was one of the first things we did when we joined. I remembered when John Hour started it, and we, uh, for a while, we were a regular cornbread contributors uh -huh. every uh, Sunday and maybe some other things at times. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thrilled that John Auer is coming back for the celebration. I'm sure he's very gratified that it's kept going um, in, in one sense. In the other sense, uh, it's terrible that we need it's it. It's sad that we still need it. Yeah. And uh, it, like you said, I think we need it more than ever. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, it's not just for homeless. It's there are a lot of hungry people out there. People in need in all kinds of living conditions and status. And again, we're going to see, unfortunately, more, not less people in need until this recession and the recovery happens. We need everybody to put their shoulder to the wheel to get involved. And I know we know that, certainly in your listening audience, there's a lot of people, I bet, that are doing great stuff. But there's many more people out there that are wondering, what can I do to help? They need some guidance, they need some help and uh, in direction, and we're happy to show them. This is a valuable program. There are many in the community doing lots of great right. things. This is just one. That's but right. this is the one where, as chairman of the Church Board of Trustees, I'm really proud and honored to be involved helping make happen. Well, United Church of Rogers Park is a, a long time, a powerfully supportive inf institution in the neighborhood. Um, and, you know, pastors like John Auer, and now who is the current pastor? Pastor Reverend, pastor Reverend Cadiano McKay has uh -huh. been there for nearly two years, and she's part of the force. Her and, and Deacon Wes are the ones that help us keep the church open seven days a week to be available, to be responsive to people who have all kinds of things going on. We have a lot of meetings and events and activities at the church. It's more or less like a community center right here at Morse and Ashland. People use it seven days. One of the few churches that's open that much in Chicago. Right. That is quite, and you, I know that you also house the uh, daycare. Um, We've got daycare programs, yoga programs. We've got several NA and substance abuse groups. We have uh, uh, performance and theater groups. I think there's a karate group. Isn't Inside Arts still? Inside Arts, is, is, we've given tons of support to them over the years. Mm -hmm. We've supported Rogers Park Community Action Network, right. which has changed into an organization. Lots of groups. Yeah. Um, we're just, our mission basically has always been to, to serve, to walk humbly, and be good about doing neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor help. Nice work, Michael. Yeah. Well, thank you. I hope people will come to Community Feast this Expo weekend on Sunday, October 12th to hear John Auer on Saturday, October 10th for the Expo. And then, of course, participate in our fundraiser Monday at Uncommon Ground. And they should check our website, ucrogerspark.org. Yeah. ucrogerspark.org. You should definitely check out that website. The events, especially Saturday lineup, is pretty impressive. Um, Michael Harrington, thank you so much for thank coming you for out, the time. make the announcement, um, and uh, long may you wave over there at United Church, because uh, you guys are great. Thank you.